When you're learning SQL, the case statement is one of the most powerful and flexible tools that you'll have at your disposal. So first, let's simplify this a little bit and we'll build the example from the ground up. You'll see that this really isn't that bad and anybody can learn how to use these effectively in just a couple of minutes. So let's take a look at our data set. We've got all of these film titles, their ratings, their descriptions, their rental rate, and their length. And we'll be using all of these attributes to create a case statement, which will help us figure out if each of these films is a good fit to recommend to my two-year-old niece. So the first thing to note is every time you use a case statement, you're gonna open that case statement with the word case, and then you're gonna end it with the word end. Optionally, but I'd highly recommend you do this, you can create an alias to make it a little more intuitive what you're working on. So I'm gonna call this recommendation fit, just so that anyone reading this output would know exactly what I was trying to do here. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is look at the rating. I don't wanna give her anything that's rated R or NC17. So I'm gonna say rating in R and NC17. These are the values that I'm gonna use to identify these movies being too adult for her. So inside the case statement, we have these series of when then pairs. The when is a condition that you're gonna be looking for. So in this case, we're looking for the rating column to have the value of R or NC17. And then we're gonna return a value of two adults. So let's run this code after we add this comma. And you can see the results here. You see anywhere that has NC17 or R gets a value of two adult in this new column recommendation fit. Every case statement always has at least one when then pair, but they can also support multiple when then pairs at the same time. So let's add some additional criteria. So we're gonna say when description like shark, then it's too scary. And let's do another one. When rental rate is greater than 10, then too expensive. And one final one, when length is greater than 90, that's measured in minutes, then it's too long. She won't sit through something that's two and a half hours. So let's run this one more time. And we see all the different videos that are called too adult, too scary, too long. So you see how adding multiple when then pairs to a case statement, you can get this output that's really flexible and really powerful, and you can tailor it to exactly the criteria that you want to look for. So one little nuance I want you guys to understand before we finish this up is what happens when we have multiple criteria that are both satisfied here. So now I'm gonna just limit to the results where rating is in R or NC17 and length is also greater than 90. In that case, what do you think happens? Does it get labeled as too adult or does it get labeled as too long? So let's run the results and we'll find out. So you see every single value here says to adult, and that's because the case statement executes top to bottom. What that means is it'll evaluate this first when then pair. If that criteria is satisfied, then the case terminates. If not, it moves on to the next and the next and the next and so on until it hits an end. One other possibility is an else. So an else is an optional part of a case statement that you can put as a catch-all after your when then pairs and before your end. So in this case, I'm gonna say because none of the criteria above were hit, I'm gonna say that this is a good fit for my niece. And I'll just remove this where condition now so that we get all the results. And I'll run this one more time. And you guys can see what we have here. You see we've got a number of movies that are indeed a good fit for my niece. And those are the movies that are under 90 minutes under $10, don't include sharks, and don't have a rating of R or NC17. And that is how we use case statements in SQL.